What if I told you that everything you thought about car longevity might be wrong? You've been told gas cars last longer, right? Or maybe you've heard EVs are the future and built to outlive anything on wheels. But here's the twist. Real world data is revealing a winner. And it's not what automakers are telling you. One type of car silently racks up over 300,000 miles with barely a whisper. The other, it hides an expensive secret ticking like a time bomb. Stick around because by the end of this video you'll know exactly which vehicle type lasts longer and why what you drive could either save you $20,000 or destroy your wallet. 1. Defining Lasts Longer It's not just mileage. Let's get one thing straight. When we talk about longevity, we're not just talking about hitting a high odometer reading. We're talking about total ownership cost, maintenance frequency, performance degradation, and component failure rates. A gas car may technically reach 300,000 miles, but if the last 100,000 miles require constant repairs, is it really lasting? On the other hand, an EV may hit 200,000 miles with minimal issues, but suffer a sudden and costly battery replacement after. Longevity also includes peace of mind, reliability, and how long a vehicle stays economically viable. According to Consumer Reports, some gas cars like the Toyota Camry or Honda Accord regularly exceed 250,000 miles. EVs like the Tesla Model S and Chevy Bolt have also crossed 200,000. But what happens next depends on key maintenance points and owner behavior. Two. EV powertrains versus gas engines, simplicity versus maturity. Gas engines are incredibly complex. They have over 2,000 moving parts. That includes pistons, valves, camshafts, crankshafts, oil pumps, gaskets, you name it. Electric vehicles, they average fewer than 20 moving parts in the drivetrain. That simplicity gives EVs a major advantage. Fewer parts mean fewer failure points. There are no oil changes, no spark plugs, no timing belts, no exhaust system issues. But gas engines benefit from over a century of refinement. Companies like Toyota, Honda, and GM have had decades to perfect combustion reliability. EVs, while promising, are still evolving, especially in battery chemistry and thermal management. So which lasts longer? Engines break down slowly and predictably. Batteries, when they go, can take your whole car with them. 3. Battery Degradation – The Silent Killer Let's break down what happens to an EV battery over time. EV batteries lose capacity as they age. A brand new battery might give you 300 miles. After 5 to 8 years, it might only give you 220. For some owners, that drop is fine. But for others, especially those who bought EVs for long-distance commuting, it's a deal-breaker. And unlike replacing a $300 alternator, replacing a battery can cost $8,000 to $20,000 depending on the model. Now here's the catch. Gas engines degrade too. Compression drops. Oil consumption increases. But these issues can be addressed over time with lower-cost repairs. EV batteries are more of an all-or-nothing game. You're fine until you're not. 4. Cost of Ownership Over Time According to AA, EVs have a lower average maintenance cost, around $949 per year, compared to $1,279 for gas vehicles. That sounds great, right? But those savings can vanish with one battery replacement. Let's run a quick example. Say you own a Toyota Camry. Over 10 years and 200,000 miles, you might spend $8,000 to $10,000 on maintenance. Now take a Tesla Model 3. You might spend $5,000 in the same period. But if the battery fails in year 11, suddenly you're $15,000 in the hole. Long-term winners are those EVS with solid battery management systems and owners who charge smartly. More on that in a moment. 5. Charging Habits That Kill EV Longevity just like oil change intervals affect gas engines, charging behavior affects EV lifespan. Frequent fast charging, like using a supercharger, can heat up the battery and degrade it faster. Experts recommend keeping your charge between 20% to 80% for daily driving. Using level two home charging as your default. Limiting fast charging to road trips or emergencies. Failure to follow this, you could lose 20 to 30% of your battery capacity in just five years. 
It's the EV version of neglecting oil changes, and most new owners have no idea. Sixth Maintenance Misconceptions Electric vehicles are marketed as maintenance-free. That's misleading. Yes, they skip oil changes, but they still require tire rotations, even more often due to instant torquey wear, brake fluid replacement, cabin air filter changes, coolant flushes for the battery system, suspension and alignment maintenance. Gas cars have more frequent and visible maintenance, but it's easier to budget. EVs? You might ignore maintenance until something big happens. That leads to sudden, expensive surprises. Seventh, real-world longevity champions. Let's name names. Gas cars. Toyota Land Cruiser, 300,000 plus miles regularly. Honda Accord, 250,000 plus with basic care. Ford Crown Victoria, legendary in fleet use. EVs. Tesla. Model S. Several units have crossed 400,000 miles with battery replacements. Nissan Leaf, durable drivetrain, but early models suffered fast battery degradation. Chevy Bolt, battery recalls, but mechanically sound. Bottom line, gas cars last longer without major component swaps. EVs can match or exceed them, but often with a pricey battery detour. Eight, resale value and longevity. This one's tricky. Gas cars depreciate slower, especially reliable models. Buyers know what they're getting. EVs. Resale values drop sharply after warranty expiration. Why? Fear of battery failure. A seven-year-old Camry? Still desirable. A seven-year-old Leaf with 60% range? Much harder to sell. So while an EV may last long physically, its economic lifespan can be shorter unless the battery is rock solid. Nine, climate and driving conditions. Electric vehicles hate the cold. Range drops by 20 to 40% in winter. Batteries slow down. Charging takes longer. Gas cars also suffer in winter, but generally handle temperature swings better over time. In hot climates, battery degradation speeds up. For example, EVs in Arizona degrade faster than those in Oregon. So if you live in extreme heat or cold, gas might still be the longevity king. 10. The Future Outlook Battery tech is improving. Solid-state batteries, cobalt-free designs, and AI-driven thermal management are on the horizon. Gas engines, meanwhile, are reaching the end of their innovation cycle. The future belongs to electrification. But we're not there yet. Right now, gas wins in raw long-term survivability. EVs win in simplicity and lower day-to-day -day maintenance, but only if you treat them right. The tipping point will come when battery replacement becomes affordable and fast. Conclusion. So which lasts longer? Let's put it this way. Want a car you can wrench on, stretch to 300,000 miles, and repair with used parts? Go gas. Want a car with fewer headaches for the first 150,000 miles and you're okay with battery risks? Go EV. Both can last a long time, but in very different ways. It's not just about technology. It's about how you treat the vehicle, where you live, and what you're willing to spend when things go wrong. Which one do you trust to last longer, electric vehicle or gas? Comment below with your experience. Have you owned a car over 200,000 miles? What failed first? What surprised you? And if this video saved you money or changed your mind, smash that like button and subscribe for more real-world automotive insights from a mechanic's point of view.